And what I'm mostly scared about with Dominicans and most of you guys are is that they're very like scissor happy. <laughs> they A few moments later. Bruh. She cut all my hair off. Uh, okay, now we're on the highway so I can talk. Last time I did my vlog, I had my whole... Let me not do that. Anyways, <laughs> hi guys. Welcome back to my channel where we talk everything health, wealth, and wellness. Just kidding. This is not what my channel is about. This is... Okay, so I'm on my way to get my hair done. And I chose literally the worst day like ever to get my hair done. It's like a monsoon. It's supposed to rain all day, all weekend. But I just had to get it done. I had to get it done because my hair looks like it looks like crap. It looks horrible. My curls look horrible. They don't last. So when I get my hair cut every six months, and I usually go to the Dominicans, and I found a, my lady, like my tried and true. She lives in Connecticut, but I, now I live in New Jersey, as I said, a gazillion times. And it's just very far. I even made an appointment with her, but then I have like other things to do throughout the day. So like, if I go to Connecticut, it has to be like a whole day thing. It's literally like an hour and 45 minutes where she's at. So I found this girl here in New Jersey. And um, last time I burnt my hair off, I don't know if I told you guys, but like I burnt my hair a big chunk of it with a candle <laughs> I came to her and she did such a good job and what I'm mostly scared about with Dominicans and most of you guys are is that they're very like scissor happy <laughs> they love to like cut a lot of hair off and these two ladies they're so good I will link them down below like the one that's in Connecticut and her name and the one that's here in New Jersey they're really good like they're not very like scissor happy but like I want a completely different look like I've been having the same hair, the same hair color for the last like I think six or longer than six years. Like since I've been going to the lady in New Haven's been six years, and my hair is very thin, is brittle. Like it will go, it gets damaged very easily. So I can't like do a lot of colors and like straightening my hair. Like for a very long time, I used to just straighten my hair. And then my hair wouldn't like grow past here. And it's because it used to get damaged so much just from like hot tools. Because like I have naturally curly hair and it, we're just, we don't work. We don't work together. So what I found works best is just me leaving it naturally curly. So yeah, I just need a new haircut. Like, so I'm going to get a haircut. I'm going to get like the 90s supermodel like layers, like high layers. Because... You be telling hairdressers, oh, I want layers, but they always be doing like long layers, and that's. I want like chop, like voluminous, like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of the layers. Actually, it comes out right. Okay. Bruh. She cut all my hair off. I'll show you guys when I get home because I had to do a little doobie. So I didn't get what I wanted. A mental breakdown and I just started bawling my eyes out because um this is not what I wanted at all um like I was telling you guys Dominicans they get super happy and that's exactly what happened my hair was so long like I've been growing my hair out for literally six years my hair was so long and I'm starting from scratch and it's like it doesn't I'll put a reference picture this is not what I wanted at all but I already cried about it I already threw a fit about it like I absolutely hate it but what the f am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't do anything about it. I can't, like, make my hair magically grow back. And I told her, I was like, um, this is not what I wanted. And she's all like, oh, it's because it's curled. And my hair is curly. Like, I don't naturally wear my hair straight. My hair is not straight. So, like, when I put my hair curly, I don't even want to see it. It's going to be, like, up to here because curly hair shrinks a lot. So it's like, 
it's it's just I don't know I really don't know so whatever <laughs> it's life and what what am I gonna do it is what it is okay hey guys all right so it's Wednesday I didn't vlog most of this week like I said I was and it was because I was depressed bitch <laughs> I was very, very sad. I was sad. I was sad about my hair. You're probably like, oh my god, that is so superficial. And I'm like, shut up. It's just like, I feel like I just put a lot of um, self-worth on my outward appearance. Like, I feel like if I look good, I feel good. And I feel like with my haircut, it really, like, kind of stripped me of something that like i was very proud of um made me feel very beautiful very feminine having long luscious beautiful hair that i've never had in my life like literally i'm not being dramatic like i've never had my hair that long ever because i used to relax my hair and it was just always very brittle and i would never got into that length so that was very hard for me um i was very very sad and um, you're probably like, hey, unshackle yourself from the patriarchal gaze and male gaze of these outward feminine beauty standards. And it's like, bitch, it's not about a man. It has never been about a man. It's never going to be about a man. Like, I have a man. Like, I'm basically married. Like, I do not care about, like, how I look outwardly for men. I feel like I actually just test it i hate it and when men look at that's why kind of i when i go to work and stuff like that i don't like dressing up because i don't like that type of attention for men like i do it for myself and my my mental health and my confidence my emotions what i do outwardly you know like how i because i just i like being a bad bitch like i like being pretty and it's like you probably do too because it makes you feel good on the inside and my hair very much helped with my self-esteem that i've been working on since day one as you can go back like two years in this um youtube channel and um i've been working on it and i think i made extremely great um strides and i have a lot of progress but i feel like this year 2023 <laughs> you came coming <laughs> like you took no prisoners like for me um 2023 has definitely been hard and um yeah i just i haven't been feeling pretty for a very long time and then i felt like oh my god i'm gonna get my hair done i'm gonna feel good did the complete opposite i feel like i feel horrible and you know i've been feeling really sad and down and like you know when you're at the point where it, it kind of just feels comfortable being sad and down and like i don't know it's like it feels it's weird i don't know and even the only one but like it, it feels good to be sad you know, like, you don't want to get out of it because you feel comfortable and safe here. Because, like, if you feel happy, you feel joy, you're just kind of waiting for that other shoe to drop. But when you feel down, you're like, mm, I know it. I know it. It's not going to be the good, this good for long. I need therapy. <laughs> this is what it made me realize, like, bro, I need help. Um... But this is why I, I'm just vlogging my emotions. Um, and yeah, I've always been very good at acknowledging my emotions and my feelings and what I'm feeling. Don't know how to fix it though. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just how I've been feeling. I've been feeling like really, I think at this age of your late 20s, feeling lost and stuff like that. I talked about it maybe in another vlog that might go up after this vlog, but i talk about it more there and i just <laughs> i've been down so i just didn't feel like vlogging and yeah this is the hair in question look at my bichota shirt 
I went to the Karo G concert in MetLife and my bestie bought me this and I love it forever. And every time I put it on, I think about her and how much I miss her. Okay, so let's change, let's change the conversation. Um, this is my closet. <laughs> Loser. Um, yeah, and I don't know if I put up this vlog, but I went to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta in July. I taking the unpacking to another level like don't don't judge me okay don't judge me because this is a judgment free zone I still haven't unpacked and it's September 28th 27th about to be the 28th yeah it's been like two months and it's kind of like I close this door it's like out of sight out of mind and I've just been a lazy sloth and I'm gonna clean out this closet oh my god Almost broke my bag. Let me put, set you guys up somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up because this is like my beauty room as well. Like I, I do my makeup here, but I haven't done my makeup in like months, months, because I have nowhere to go to. Like I just, I don't go out, um, and I'm not gonna go out anytime soon. So I don't think I'm gonna be using much of this space, but. I have to clean it out because tomorrow is Stan's um, white coat ceremony. Like I told you guys, he's in. He's a nurse. He's in nursing school. He is going to be a nurse. So tomorrow's his white coat ceremony, and I want to get ready here and I want to do my makeup and I have no clothes. Like it makes me tight. Like that makes me so upset that I be buying clothes, but when it comes down to it, I have nothing to wear. It gets me so mad, and it's because I lack basics. I lack basic, like, you know, like, a turtleneck, nice dressy pants. It's just, like, all trendy pieces and stuff like that. So I'm going to try things on as well to see what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Um, Because I have no clue. I have no clue what I'm going to wear. Like... things you find when you're cleaning i'm gonna watch the britney report oh my god i love her podcast her bad her podcast is awesome she makes me laugh so much i'm vlogging nice you want to say hi you go ahead look at that fire nurse what's going on people's fine ass she gives them. but also men like that resent women uh, season shirt and this is time to get ready for Stan's white coat ceremony. <laughs> We're on our way Animated. to the ceremony. This is what I end up wearing. We're matching low key. You we are with the green. And we're wearing black. I had a whole mental breakdown yesterday because I didn't know what to wear. Like, what is this? I want to wear a blazer so fucking bad. Oh, I just want like pull my eyeballs out. Que yo me pareco. I look una payasa. I know everybody says this, but I, I really don't have anything to wear. I'm not wearing. And like, in what world is that? 
I'm not going. We Here. made it to the auditorium. Okay. Why Take it are to the these block. why are these seats so fucking janky? <laughs> they charge a lot. This school is expensive. It's Isn't like, this a private school? It is a private school. And it's 70k for I'm just sure the they nursing have enough school. money to upgrade Great. these. At least the seats. But I'm, I thought it was gonna be like a full auditorium. There's no. not that many people here. No, because maybe the the class is like less oh, than a yeah. hundred. Show them the stage. Oh yeah, bro. There's like barely any chairs. Oh, or maybe those are for the teachers. Oh, you know what, child? Know. Let's find we out. Know what's going on? We're just here to we're here for, we're here for the vibes. <laughs> we're here for, for the vibes and support. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be more excited when he graduates, so. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I can be there. Okay, that was the quickest ceremony ever. It really was. It was so fast, but good. I like it that way. Straight to the point. Literally, we clapped and it was over. Basically. <laughs> yeah, how did you feel about it, babe? Tell the people. I think the ceremony was very nice, straight to the point. Um, I really like that the, the words that they said really spoke to me, to They're be honest. Like the prayer in the beginning, that, you know, yeah. knowing that we are nurses and we- But yeah, it was it was very good. It was, it was straight to the point. Like no it no gave what it needed to give. We Stanley got the motivation that he needed. It was good, it was good. And now we're gonna go celebrate with burgers. Let's go. Okay. This is a little stop. It's called Steve's. Steve's hot dogs and no, hot dogs burger. burgers. It's called Steve's Burger. It's Steve's Burgers. One of the best burger spots in Jersey is cash only, so I think they're money laundering or something. I don't know. That's a little sketch. That's a little sketch to me. But they're so good. If you love burgers, oh yeah, it looks like there's a auto shop, but if you love burgers, you gotta check this spot out. It's 10 out of 10. It's so good. And it's cheap. Yeah, and it's like five dollars for like classic burger fries is like three dollars you're not gonna find that and the quality so good we're gonna run home good oh because stan has class what the burgers look like i got the ones with onion rings uh, raheem had like a swiss and mushroom one stan had one with an egg it's about to go down Alright. Can you get your tripod? <laughs> My tripod? Yeah, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna figure it out. I really don't want to slip Why? She bought all these things and she doesn't use them. It came with the camera, so we're gonna mm -hmm. figure it out. You said it can't connect, right? Or you just don't like mm -hmm. it. Mm. <laughs> this is good. This is like Big Mac sauce. Mm hmm. Monkey. It's Steve's sauce, respect. Okay. They do not disappoint. Mm -mm. It's so good. It's like. It's good. Homemade. These are homemade burgers. You think so? I, just, I, I had, think so too. Yeah, like if I had a grill. Like they didn't just pack, like buy the patty seasoning and put it on the grill. I yeah, or like know. the frozen patties, like McDonald's or something. Okay. I'm in bed. Stanley went to school. Raheem went home. Like loaded. I'm just eating an ice cream sandwich. In bed, I'm watching Stephanie. And then, then I to tell you the truth, wait, right, that's too that's too close up. To tell you the truth, I hate like um mukbang videos. I don't know why I don't like watching people eat. But Stephanie, I like Stephanie because she be telling, like, she be giving mad tea. Like, she be giving mad tea about, like, the Chinese, like, film and, like, their version of Hollywood. It'd be so good. And then she also does, like, true crime. Yeah, she just be giving mad tea about, like, Asian. <laughs> It'd be so good. And then she also, like, tells story. Right now I'm, like watching horror stories. I'm in the spooky season. I love Halloween. 
these are my year-round pants like this is not even just for now but that's what i'm on i'm just gonna chill i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day but i just i want to do nothing like i've just been so busy that i just love doing nothing like i love sitting in bed watching trash tv watching youtube videos not doing shit that's what i'm gonna do well, i might talk to you guys later i might not I might end the vlog here because this weekend I work. So we'll see. Oh yeah, they're gonna talk about scary, scary, scary stories. Oh my God, I'm editing right now. I look like crap. But anyways, I am ending the vlog here. But I did want to say that I know this vlog was very negative. Um, I was just talking hella crap, and people were probably like, "What are you complaining about? At least you know, at least you have hair." or at least this at least that um i understand that there is way worse things that are going on in the earth right now um especially right now i'm filming this um november 4th i'm not filming this right here right now i'm filming november 4th and i know exactly what's going on in the world and what we should actually be paying attention to and i feel so grateful that I, at least i have a home and like our, like the situation is is really rough um but it's just a period of time i just wanted to show because um i was just gonna scrap the whole thing but i was like no i want to show it because social media just shows you like everyone is so beautiful everyone's so hot everyone's so confident and like sometimes you you don't feel like that sometimes you feel like garbage you don't feel pretty you don't feel attractive and it's just life you just have times where it's just like you're not an instagram post you're not a filter you're not a filtered person there's layers and dimensions to you and it's okay it's okay to feel like crap but um the most important thing is that you're not you don't get stuck there like i'm working on that as well i know this vlog was very negative but it's very real like people go through ups and downs and i know there's worse things going on in the world and that kind of put things in perspective and um try to find your own beauty within yourself and do things that make you feel beautiful because even those picture perfect people that you see online they don't even feel beautiful like they always feel like there's some way they can improve or enhance themselves and to each their own i don't care and then you're allowed to feel that too but um just sometimes you can't get too wrapped up into it hair's hair hair will grow back um you still look good anyway but girl still look good so don't worry about it so i just wanted to sh just f it i'm gonna just show it but yeah and not every day you're gonna be happy and not every vlog i'm gonna be happy and that's okay it's okay to not be okay but if you are low down and you feel like you've been low and down for a, a long time and there's no rhyme or reason like you can't find a reason why then definitely seek professional help you know but yeah life just be lifing and it's okay like bruh life is gonna suck and it's gonna bring challenges but just look at your blessings and all the amazing things that you have and even if you can find that hope somewhere and this time is really hard. It's really hard to find any hope in, in humanity at all. But that's another topic for another day. Um, hashtag free Palestine. Let's just... I don't know. I don't know. Let's just... I don't even know. I'm not going to say anything. I don't I don't know. But yeah, this vlog was very negative. It was very down. But that's just life. Life is not butterflies and rainbows and Instagram and perfect people because even those perfect people don't feel perfect they have to do so much things to themselves to make themselves feel better and i promise you they don't at the end of the day and i don't know love you guys stick around for the next vlog hopefully i'll be in a better mood um don't forget to comment and subscribe and like and take care of yourself take care of your mental health do things that make you feel better and most importantly surround yourself with people that make you feel better and when you're feeling sad 
and for whatever reason definitely reach out and talk to people that you love or seek professional help but take care love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next vlog